Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of April the 11th through the 17th of 2016. Now, what a week we have in store, and at the same time, there's not a whole lot going on in the beginning of the week. You still have that new moon energy that you can use, okay? Keep that in mind. <sighs> but on the 14th, Mercury will enter shadow. And you're not going to get out on the other side of this until sometime in June. So keep that in mind. Anything you need to do, anything you need to sign, it's important. Take care of it before the 14th, okay? And at the end of this week, on the 17th, Mars is going retrograde. Now, Mars has been in shadow for a little while. It doesn't go retrograde, but every couple of years or so. So when it does, it's a big deal. Uh, kind of like when Venus goes retrograde every couple of years or so, and things get really crazy. So, that being said, you know, I have a feeling we'll be discussing this a lot more. Uh, although this week ends on the 17th, I want to make mention that on the 18th, Pluto will also go retrograde. So there's a lot of retrograde motion at the moment, okay? And that's going to make things at times seem, ugh, anyway. This week, a lot of this week, is all about your relationships and your commitments and how you hope to handle them. Now, what you're working on right now is figuring out which ones are fulfilling and which ones are not, okay? If they're not, then they need to go. That's obvious. It may not have been as obvious before, but it really is becoming that way now. You need peace and harmony in your life, and you kind of need to... Oh, disassociate yourself with things. There are some things that you're just attached to, like being attached at the hip where you feel like you can't get away from it. But there's some very positive feelings around this, which indicates that you're finding ways. I like that. Now, one of the other things that's here that has been so important, and we've talked about this before, okay? So much has happened in your life. And basically... It doesn't resemble anything like what it was for years and years. So you're really having to start over. And what do you do when you start over? Well, hopefully you build a firm foundation. You look at what has happened and try not to be laying blame anywhere, but to figure out how to proceed to the next part and build this stable foundation for your life so that these things do not happen again, all right? And there can be so many reasons for this, but you're going to be doing things differently. And it's very favored to work on that stable foundation. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, there are decisions being made here. How do you want to lead your life, all right? Not the way you were leading it since 2012. For some of you, for the past 15, 20 years, it's like whatever's been going on, that part of your life is just done. Okay, so many things have happened and you've seen your way through it. This is the thing that you have to realize is that you are still here and, you know, you've been standing your ground, but there's a sense of kind of like praying for what you want and prayers being answered and looking for some form of enlightenment. All right. I think everybody needs that because they're looking for a rebirth and that, okay, I want to go this way. But you know what? The universe is trying to guide you over here. It's trying to take you to where you need to go. So pay attention. All right. You may be looking in the wrong direction. You may not. You may be in sync and in unison with the universe now and hopefully figuring these things out because I see that that stable foundation that you're creating is taking you that way. You know, you're not where you want to be yet, but you're definitely working on it. So this is important. Now, things you need to do, things you want coming to fruition for you. All right. This is a different life. All right. Than what you've had before. I think you've had to learn some new things, not just new things like let me go learn this on the internet or do that I think you've learned more about yourself and how to depend more on yourself like that 
mm, I call it self-reliance. Okay, it's that type of a thing. How to be so good on your own. And it's important. I, I talk with many of you and I see this working on, you know, that stable foundation, it can include anything. Some of you actually have put yourself in a position where you need to reintegrate yourself into society. Things have happened and you kind of pulled away and maybe you've been busy with family, with children, other issues have cropped up. Things have happened and you're out of that, you know, out of sync. And now I'm not by any means saying to go backward because I'm not. This is going forward and creating, really creating a new life. One that includes some fun once in a while. Life hasn't really been fun, has it? See, that's the thing. It needs to change. It's not all going to happen overnight, but you're coming to terms with it and coming to the realization that you can't keep repeating the same patterns and having the same life is very important because I think this stable foundation is really the key here and it's what you're working on and you're building on. And a lot of this is about the clarity that has been coming to you, All right? The clarity is like a huge gift from the universe, okay? You've been waiting, you've been wondering and trying to decide and, you know, every plan you thought you had, it seemed like the universe shot them down and wouldn't let you go forward. It's kind of like you've been a little bit redirected. And you may even have felt a little bit trapped for a while. But what I see is finally things are favored, which is weird with all the retrogrades going on. But I kind of feel that that's what these retrogrades are about. You know, I'm going to put a positive spin on them as much as I can for you. Okay, because when you're sort of backtracking with them and going over issues and reviewing them, you're dealing with them for one last time. You're getting them out of your way and being done with them in your life. Because really, how can you go forward if these things are still hanging over your head? So this is good because you're going to be able to eliminate what does not belong. And trust me, there are still things that don't belong. And you've come really, really far since this time last year, let me tell you. But you understand priorities better. And your passions in life have changed. They're not just passions of the heart. They're passions of the mind. Like your mind has been working overtime saying, oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do that. And that's a good thing. All right. It doesn't all always happen in a day. And sometimes the timing isn't right to do it. Write it down. Because one day you will be able to. And I'm telling you, you're seeing things much differently than you were before. You know, your vision is finally toward the future. And your back is finally to the loss. Okay. I think this is a good, good point this week. I'm really liking this for everyone because it is that, you know, I don't want to be in limbo. What do I have to do for the future? Because here's your wish. Okay, finally, here's your wish. And for some of you, this is figuring things out financially. Hmm, don't be over generous. Okay. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm certainly the first one who wants to be generous toward everyone. But sometimes you have to stop and think, okay, you know, I can't do this this way. Have to be a little bit frugal at the same time, especially when it comes to money. And sometimes, even when it comes to your time. You know, one of the things I discuss frequently is time. And time is so, so important. Okay. So be careful because part of your new foundation is how you use your time and how you ration it in the way you deal with others. Because what I'm seeing here is you becoming this more self-sufficient person and it's not just in a financial fashion okay this is about being more self-sufficient where you feel good about yourself and you take the time to feel good about yourself and that's you know may maybe there's some appearance changes even but that's not really what I'm getting at here this is about that taking the time to know you and you'd be surprised at the person you are and the person you've become uh, I've seen it with many of you who, you know, 
talk to me privately that you've come so, so far. And, you know, <laughs> a year ago, not even a year ago, some of you couldn't have imagined that you'd be where you are now. But if anything has happened, it has taught you how important your time is and how you use it wisely. So a lot of clarity here. And here again, cutting away relationships that don't belong. I think there's a, a lot going on here this week, like really, really thinking about them. Okay. Who do you want in your life? Who don't you want in your life? And it's not meant to be like in a mean way. It's meant to be like what works for you. If someone has chosen to leave your life, certainly don't chase them. I don't see that happening. It's in your best interest to look to the future, most definitely. And you also do not need to defend yourself when it comes to relationships. See, one of the, one of the problems that I see here with, with clarity for everyone is that often there's fear. Like fear and clarity, they go hand in hand because fear is what prevents you from having the clarity, okay? Sometimes it, it, it sounds so silly, but I even know this from personal experience that when you take that step and you do the thing that you feared because you thought there were going to be all of these horrible things that were going to happen, it's like, I did it. it nothing happened. It's all okay. Like, you know, nothing, nothing came crashing down. Nothing happened. Nothing changed in my life. I still got up the next day and things went on. So, you know, there, there can be illusions that are created. And I'm going to put down some more cards here as I'm talking that prevent you sometimes from going forward. All right. Cause you feel like you've been stabbed in the back by the universe, but I'm telling you, there are things to celebrate and part of the celebration truthfully, is you, you realizing that your life doesn't have to be the way it was a year ago, three, four, five years ago, 10 years ago. How long have you been allowing these things to happen? Okay. Yeah. You see, finally you can move on. And when you've come to these terms and you understand them, that's where your hope comes from. That's where your renewal of faith comes from. And all of a sudden, you know, your intuition kicks in and tells you, you know what? I think I'm going to be all right because look at what I've already been through. Yeah. See, there, this is a week that it's not so much that you're going to be celebrating because so much has changed. I think you're celebrating the changes within the growth that has come for you. This is, this is really, really good. All right. And more and more. I noticed that many of you are paying attention to the synchronicities in life. All right. And how do you do that? Well, you become a better listener and you pay better attention to things. You know what's going on. So that and no longer accepting the status quo. So, so important. You know, that same old, same old. I've allowed this in my life. See, that's the thing. How long have you allowed this to be in your life? And that's it. You just allowed it and it just kept on going and going and going. Uh-uh. You're going to say, bye-bye. I'm separating from you. That's it. See, there's, a, there's an important decision that takes place this week. Something's going on. And this is, this is big. Matter of fact, when I think of a few of you, I'm just going to, zip it. I don't even want to spill the beans. Okay. Very interesting. But I think by the end of the week, you're going to surprise yourself with the things you have done. So good for you. Yes. You've made tremendous progress, my friends. I love this. And I love absolutely every single one of you. I have to tell you that some of the most awesome people out there, the comments, the messages, the things I find written all over the internet. I, I, I just love you all. It really does warm my heart. And I want you to know that you can contact me. I tell everyone this all the time. And so many of you do. And I want to mention again, I think I mentioned it on a, a daily or something, but I also receive a lot of messages wondering why people can't find my posts. 
All right. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. There's my WordPress blog. You can find me at any of those places. But if you're looking for me on Facebook, remember to stop and visit my page once in a while, okay? Go down and like some of the posts, comment or share. Not because I'm asking or I want you to, but simply because this keeps them in your news feed. If you're what I would call a closet follower, which I think is still wonderful, all right, then Facebook is going to hide those posts from you. So you're going to have to be creative in ways to still be seeing them. They're all there if you go to the page. I just want to remind everyone of that. Uh, but everything that I post to Facebook also goes to Twitter. So maybe you might want to follow me there. All of my videos are available on YouTube. And everything that I write, plus my videos are included in with everything I write, is all in my blog. And the only thing that's missing there or the reveals and just the fun interactive stuff. Okay, but this week, my friends, looks to be extremely interesting. So I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you here again next week. And we'll talk about all these retrogrades. Take care.